In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this really awesome individual character flicker effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to begin by creating a brand new sequence. So we're gonna go File, New, Sequence, and then we'll go into Settings. Make sure the editing mode is custom with the time base of 23.976 frames per second. Frame size can be 1920 by 1080 with a pixel aspect ratio of square pixels. Now we'll move down to sequence name and we can rename this to whatever we like. So I'm gonna rename this to Flickr and press okay. Now from here, we need to go ahead and we need to create our text. So I'm gonna go file, new, legacy title. We'll press okay on this window. And then inside of the legacy title window, we want to go ahead and type out whatever we want to add this effect to. So I'm just gonna do the word text, T-E-X-T. I'm gonna select all of that and I'm gonna change the font to Avenir. I'm gonna increase the weight of this. I'm gonna increase the size of this. I'm gonna add a little bit of kerning by pulling on this one here. And then I'm just gonna make sure that this is 100% perfect white. So I'll pull that down to the bottom left corner, press OK. And now from here, I'm just going to center that text up using these two buttons down here. Perfect. So once you're happy with the look of your text, you want to exit the legacy title window and drop that text onto your timeline. So we'll press the X on here. We'll drag title one onto video one. And if we zoom in by pressing the plus button, you can see we've got a four second text layer. From here, we want to go ahead and we want to make three copies of this text layer. So we should have four layers of this text in total. And there's multiple ways of doing this. You can either select the title, hold Command C, move across and press Command V, or the other way, and this is the way that I prefer because it feels faster. Select title one, hold Option on the keyboard, drag that up to video layer two, not letting go of option, and then let go once it's been copied. Now we'll just do the same thing again, option, drag that up, select layer three, option, drag that up to four. Perfect. Now, from here, you want to go up to video layer one. So that is title one, video layer one. We'll go into effect controls, go to opacity, and then we'll select the free draw bezier. And we're just gonna draw a mask around the first character. So we're gonna draw a mask around the T. Now we'll go to video layer two. And we'll do the same thing again. So opacity, free draw bezier, and go around the E. And you just want to keep repeating this process over and over and over again for all of your different layers and all of your different characters. So essentially, if you had a 10 character word, then you will want to have 10 copies of this text and each letter wants to be separated into its own layer. So if I turn off all of these layers, turn off video layer four, the T disappears, turn off video layer three, the X disappears, turn off two, the E disappears, and turn off one, the first T disappears. So now we've created the title and we've set it up for the flicker effect. So now we need to just go ahead and add the flickering effect to the text. So you can do this multiple different ways. I'm gonna show you the basic way to begin with. So we'll go to video layer one, press C on the keyboard to load up the cut tool. We'll move anywhere into the text. So we'll go to about here. We'll put the cursor on top of that cut. We'll move over one frame, we'll make a cut, move over another frame and make a cut, move over another frame and make a cut. Now we'll press V to bring back the normal cursor and then we'll delete that first small part of the text. So we'll delete that one. We'll delete the third one. So we'll skip the second one, delete the third one. And if we play this back, we've got this basic flickering effect happening. And of course you can go ahead and do that on all of the other text layers if you want to add the flickering to each individual character. So that was the first method of applying a flickering effect to your individual characters on a word. But there is another one and it is less harsh than the first one. So rather than using cuts, we'll use keyframes to pull the opacity down and back up again to make this flickering effect work. So we'll move over a few seconds, go to video layer four. We'll go up to opacity and we'll create a brand new keyframe on the opacity and 100%. Now we'll move over two frames to the right, pull this down to zero. 
And then we'll move another two frames to the right and pull that back up to 100%. Now we'll do the same thing again, two frames, zero, two frames, 100. And if we play this back, there you go. It's more of a gradual flicker rather than a harsh cut. So of course, if you wanted to do that to your other characters, then you just go through the same process. Of course, though, if you wanted to save time and you don't mind the flickering being the same on each character, then you can just copy the opacity. So we'll just select opacity, hold command C, move to title three, move the cursor to where you want the flicker to happen and press V. We'll go down to two, we'll move over a touch and press command V. And there you go. As you can see, we've got this really awesome flickering effect happening. So this was our first flicker, this harsh flicker. And then the second flicker is the opacity flicker. And that is a lot more gradual. So there you go. That is how you do the flickering effect on individual characters in a word right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next video. See you there.